What's up y'all, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna to be talking about our meat chickens that we're raising. I'm gonna show you our entire setup, pros and cons of our setup, what we don't like, what we do like. So let's jump into it. All right, so typically when people raise meat chickens, they keep them in the confined chicken tractor that you see here. This is a Joel Salton style tractor. I don't necessarily love these types of chicken tractors, but, but typically people raise them in that tractor, they leave them in there and then they pull that tractor every day. We wanted to give our chickens a little bit more space. There's just something about allowing those chickens to be able to free range around that appeals to me. And I think that it's just more natural for the chickens to have a lot more space to roam rather than being confined in the chicken tractor. They're obviously underneath it right now because it's hot today. So they're seeking that shade. But this has kind of been our setup. Now I am still moving this tractor every day when the chickens are out of it free range around, I'll still move the tractor every day kind of in a circular pattern in this paddock because I don't want all that manure to be built up in one set location. Now, we do move this entire paddock with the electric fencing um, about once a week, give or take, sometimes two, depending on how big this paddock is. Because again, I wanna get them, get them off their manure. I've talked a lot about this in the past of just, you wanna get those chickens off their manure them staying in one static location all the time is probably not best. But, um, you know, we've kept it really simple. We got a five gallon water. I do the same thing with our laying hens. And then we've done this style of a feeder. We've kept the water and the feed outside of the chicken tractor. And just because we're letting them out and roaming every day. And now we got this style one. A lot of people when they're raising meat chickens will just use, um, basically it looks like a, a big long gutter almost that they'll fill the feed up with. We've chosen to use this and we keep it just outside of the coop. And I like this setup because they actually will feed down here in the bottom. So this can actually get rained on without you know that feed getting sopping wet. So I think some of the cons that I don't like with this setup has been really this chicken tractor. It's a little bit heavy. Um, I am getting what's called a chick lift. I'm gonna be installing that soon where basically it goes under the back of this this tractor and you step it up and it's got two wheels so when you're pulling it it makes it a little bit easier um but that's been one thing i have not liked about this setup this is very similar to the joel salatin style we just put a whole roof on the top and then we obviously have the door on the front of this coop the one thing that has been frustrating and i don't know why we're having this issue is the chickens are wanting to sleep outside of the, the this chicken tractor right now that's been pretty darn frustrating because I have to kind of corral them in here at night. So if I had to go back and do it all over again, the things I would change would be, originally I wanted to build the uh, John Siskovich style chicken tractor. It's basically like an A-frame. And I had all the materials for this and that's why I built this style, even though I knew I wouldn't, wasn't gonna like it. We did it mainly to save money. The John Siskovich style, you can actually walk into, it's like an A-frame like that and you can pull it every day. Now you could still do it in this type of setup with the electric fencing, um, but you know I, I just think it's a way better setup in my opinion, especially when it comes to just a chicken tractor. Cause you want the ability to close them up. You know, I think that you can, you know, you can use this type of fencing, this electric fencing, which we, which we use with our meat, our uh, laying hens, and you don't have to have them closed up at night, but you are just running the risk of them getting attacked by a predator somehow, a predator getting through. It does happen sometimes. However, for the most part, this electric fence keeps the ground predators out. With this electric fencing, get single drivable spikes. If you're gonna buy this from Premier One, do not get the double step in spikes. I absolutely hate uh, those setups. Um, and then you can obviously get the solar energizer and all that for this. You know, meat chickens are kind of a pain in the butt, but again, it's well worth it to me of us getting to butcher these, which we'll be butchering them here in a few weeks. And these are the uh, these are the Freedom Ranger meat chickens, which grow a little bit slower than the Cornish Cross, but obviously it would be easier if we just used the chicken tractor and left them in there and pulled them every day. But we just, we, we like being able to give them a lot more space to roam. So if you found this content helpful, y'all, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one.